The weather is absolutely beautiful today. It's that perfect temperature where it's not too hot and not too cold. And I love early summer, but talk to me in a couple of weeks when it's getting into the 90s and you know, low hundreds, and then we're gonna have a chat because I'm gonna be miserable. Hello everyone, it is Samantha and I hope you guys are having a fantastic day today. I thought I would do kind of a quick little Weekend Reads updates kind of a video. Um, I've been doing these lately and it's kind of fun to share with you guys what books I'm reading and all of that fun stuff. So this week for being a short week and having Monday off for Memorial Day turned out to be one of the longest weeks I've had in a really long time. So that was fun. <laughs> so needless to say I'm glad it's the weekend and it's going to fly by, I know it will. The good news is, is that fresh Oregon strawberries are in season and we're going to be having fresh strawberry shortcake tonight and I cannot wait because I love strawberries. Strawberries and blueberries are two of my favorite fruits and I love summer solely for the delicious fruits and vegetables that come out this time of year. That's the only redeeming quality to summer in my opinion. But of course, aside from, you know, yummy food and nice weather, I am going to be reading some books this weekend. So I have two main books that I'm reading and one that I'm going to be finishing today. The one I'm finishing today is actually Strange the Dreamer by Lainey Taylor. I had 50 pages left. I should have finished this in May, but as I said, this week was not the best week. As such, my reading kind of fell by the wayside, so I did not end up finishing it. But I have 70 pages left so I'm definitely going to be finishing it today. And then the other two books I'm reading is The Seven Princes by John R. Foltz. I'm buddy reading this with Michael from Bitten by a Radioactive Book and I have a feeling he's a lot farther ahead of me than I am and I feel bad because I kind of didn't read it at all this week for the same reason mentioned before. <laughs> So I need to catch up with him. I've read the first couple of chapters and I'm enjoying it. It's about this young prince who watches his father and entire court be murdered by this ancient sorcerer. And then he has to embark on a journey with six other princes to reclaim his kingdom. So I'm at the very beginning where events of course are just starting to unfold. And I'm enjoying it so far. I'm liking the writing and excited to see where it's going to go. And the other book that I picked up is Emma by Jane Austen. This is a reread and one that I am intending to stretch over the course of June. So I I'm enjoying rereading this book. It's my favorite Austin and I haven't read it in a very, very long time. So I'm enjoying being back into the story. Plus, I love these word cloud classics. They're so pretty. And then at some point this week, I will probably pick up The Dreadful Tale of Prosper Reading by Alexandra Bracken. This is one of the final BookTube SFF Award books I need to read because the live show is coming up this month and voting is open. So you guys can finally vote for your favorites from the reading list. I'll leave the voting link down below. So be sure to cast your votes before the live show. I'll have all that information down below so you guys can check it out. So yeah, those are all of my reading plans. I'm also going to be playing Dungeons and Dragons tomorrow, which we are actually going to be streaming on YouTube because it's me and a bunch of other booktubers. There is a channel now called Booktube D&D &D that Devin set up. And I'll leave that channel link down below because we're going to be playing tomorrow afternoon at 4.30 Pacific time. We only play for about two hours, so it'll be over at 6.30. Pacific time. So it's 4.30 to 6.30 and I'm looking forward to it and it's going to be like a book themed, booktube themed kind of a world. I'm really excited to be playing because they're a great group of people and then also to like be streaming it so you guys can join in and leave comments and stuff on the video as well. So that about sums it up for my weekend and what I'm doing and reading and all that good stuff. Bracing myself for next week which is going to be very busy and all that good stuff. So yes. Also I will be announcing my winner for my giveaway probably sometime on Monday both on Instagram as well as on Twitter. I'll try and film me like live picking the winners. So be sure to follow my Twitter and Instagram if you haven't already, those are linked down below as well. And yeah, it's gonna be good. There's a lot of comments in that video. There's like over 300 now. And thank you guys so much for all of your lovely comments and support. It means a lot to me. I probably will not be able to catch up on all of those comments, but know that even if I don't respond, that I definitely appreciate all of the comments and love you guys left in that video. All right, well that basically sums it up for this quick little Weekend Reads update video. Hopefully you guys weren't like too all right, well that basically sums it up for this quick little Weekend Reads update video. Hopefully you guys weren't like too underwhelmed by it, but that, that's all I got for today. All right guys, that is it. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you guys have a wonderful day and an even better weekend. Until next time, happy reading. Bye.